125? What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing? If you are new to my channel, my name is Paul. I also go by the Philly Flipper. I'm a full-time reseller who lives in the Philadelphia area. Hence the name. That means I go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, community sales, church sales, any sales. If, if I see the word sale, I'm stopping. I'm going and buying stuff. But what you're gonna see today is me doing a bulk buy. I gotta give a big shout out to Aqua Girl Annette. She saw us in her Craigslist area. She sent me the message uh, and I replied to that person and they said it was available. So somebody had a, a yard sale over Independence Day weekend and nobody showed up because it's Independence Day weekend. She said the whole time they had like eight people show up during the whole weekend. So what she did was everything that she was gonna sell, she made a bulk ad listing saying, come take it all for $125. So you guys are about to see what I picked up. Stay tuned till the end to see the estimated totals of all that I'm gonna have and how much money I can potentially make. Good amount of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty much just everything on here? Yeah, everything and all this. Okay. Except these containers. Sounds good. Yeah. 125? Yeah. Four, five, six. I have a chair here. It's mine if you want that for 10 bucks. Nah. I paid $70 for it. I don't want it. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Enjoy. All right. I'm thinking probably like all the boxes and stuff in yours. Okay. That's and we'll fine. we'll shut we'll, we'll fit yours first and then whatever is left over we'll put on mine. Okay, no problem. We should be good. Yeah. So our husband just started mowing the lawn and the tractor is being super loud, so I have to cut out the sound and you guys are gonna hear the voiceover of us grabbing all the stuff uh the whole time. So you see me right here, I'm grabbing some electronics. She had a nice VCR, a sharp v VHS player that I'm listing for $60 right now. You should see that comp on the screen. Just listen to this bad, bad boy yesterday. Um, this guy, unfortunately, is broken. So it was like a five disc Sony disc changer, but it's gonna go in the trash because it doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, this horse is really cool. I don't know anything about it. She said it's an antique. She got it from an antique store 20 years ago. If you guys know what it is, uh, please let me know. It is not listed yet. Cool little singer machine here. Listing it for $65. I tested it. The pedal works. The functions work. Uh, also listed that bad boy um, yesterday. You see me just going through some random stuff right here. Um, these drones look pretty cheap. I think they're like five below drones or something like that. I didn't list them yet. I completely forgot I had these Clark shoes, to be honest. They're in the backseat of my car. I just learned that I had them when I was editing this video. So I think I get listed uh, pretty soon. They should be worth a uh, pretty penny. Pretty cool little bowling ball right here. Listed this guy yesterday as well. So it's like a repeating story. Uh, pretty much everything that I saw editing, I was like, oh, I got to list that. I got to list that. But I listed this guy for 35 bucks plus shipping. Uh, we will see um, how that guy sells. Uh, this is a pretty sweet little piece. I thought it was going to be worth a lot more. It's a nice little like barbershop doll chair. Brand new with tags. Uh, wasn't selling for much. Listing it for 20 bucks plus shipping. She said that she had it for a while as well, but her grandkids never played with it. The little Tykes basketball net, I'm just listening locally for $15 because it's not that worth that much to, on eBay, it's going to be a pain to ship. So 15 bucks locally, uh, hopefully somebody comes and picks it up. This is one of the best finds of the whole thing. This is a Fisher Price Smart Cycle uh, arcade kind of bike. Plugs into your TV and you play with it. It's worth 120 plus shipping. So hopefully that thing sells pretty well. That stroller, I'm saving for my mom because we have a new niece on the way. If you guys remember the wedding video of my sister, uh, Sophia and Kamar, they have a baby girl coming up in, uh, in October. So all the baby stuff I am saving now uh, and not selling it. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty cool thing right here. This bag is full of Foot Joy and Nike golf shoes. There's like seven pairs of shoes in here. You should see them scrolling on the screen. And all together, there's like $280 just in golf shoes in that one bag alone. That was really, really awesome to see. So it took us about 10 minutes of me and V to load everything, but you will see at the end, both my truck, uh, the back seat, the front seat, and V's van. V had an empty pretty much 
think it was a Sienna. He emptied it. We, to, we took the seats out, but his whole van was pretty much filled as well. Back seat, front seat, middle seat, the whole trunk, everything was full with boxes and bags and uh, totes <laughs> and, and duffel bags and whatever you name it. You see, we, we pretty much filled every single nook and cranny. This this place was about 40 minutes from my house, so I definitely did not want to make two trips. So we fit everything as we could. So as you see me struggle <laughs> with this final last piece, let's go back to the, the warehouse and you will see uh, what I have left. So pretty much I sorted through all the stuff already same day. You, you got to see what I kept and how much inventory I have for $125. Okay, so I sorted through all the stuff that I had and V is on to Goodable with all the stuff that I didn't uh, keep. All together with the stuff, paying for my guy's labor, the gas and the tolls, I'm in at $200. So here's what $200 gets you. Got a little Tykes basketball net. This bag is just full, stuff full of plush. Got some boogie board, got some VCRs and stuff down, down there. A singer machine, a bowling ball. This horse, she said it's really old, so let me try to figure out where that one's from. Other miscellaneous stuff on here. Here we got just totes and totes and totes full of inventory. This hamper right here is full to the top of clothes. There's just a bunch of shoes in here. Got a lot of nice shoes, some merles, some socks, uh, Crocs, all the good stuff. This thing is full of golf shoes. See, just full, full of golf shoes. You got some old coolers. This one looks pretty cool right here. Little Playmates Igloo Cooler. It's pretty cool. Again, shoes on top of shoes. Bunch of other small stuff there. This is pretty nice. Spirit Creep is cool punch bowl set. That is like brand new in box. That's cool. Some organizers for the warehouse. Some vintage ornaments. This thing is full of clothes as well. Other knickknacks. Toys, toys, clothes, clothes, more shoes, more shoes, and just a couple more other ends over here. So I'm probably gonna crop this part right here. I'm gonna come back like in a week or so after I hopefully list all that stuff there. It's a lot of things to list, but I think I can do it. I, I think I can do it in about a week or so. And instead of showing you guys all the comps for everything I listed, I'll just show probably all like the cooler stuff, like the $50 plus stuff that, I, that I'm gonna be listing. And then I'll show you a grand total of everything that is gonna be listed and we'll see how much money I've made. The following Thursday. <laughs> so I am editing the video right now and it is just so funny how naive Paul was eight days ago. He's like, in about seven days, I'll have everything listed. Um, yeah, right, Paul, you will. <laughs> it is ago, I sat on that couch, and I told you guys that in about a week to two weeks, I will have everything listed. Um, boy, was the eye wrong. So, I figured instead of making you wait and wait and wait for this video to come out, I'll just do a part one right here and tell you guys about the progress that has made so far and what my estimated total is. Then we'll do a part two when everything is going to be listed. Because you guys will see there's still a lot of stuff to be done. Probably around maybe end of July, August. And we'll do a grand total of how much money was made with this bulk. Bye. Anyways, so first, let's start in the laundry room. This is, I just got this finished like a couple hours ago. All the clothes that I am going to list is now washed and dried and ready to go. So we have this thing that is full of clothes this thing that is full of clothes and then this thing that is all new with tags clothes plus all the ones that are drying right now those are the ones i could wash but not put in the dryer so they will be ready to go as well so in the clothes we have brands like ralph lauren we have brands like tommy hilfiger we have brands like hollister and other stuff like that the new with tags that we have like PGA Tour new with tags. We have, there's some Nike new with tags. There's some Levi's new with tags. So to be safe with the clothes, I pretty much, I'm guessing I have about a hundred of pieces of clothing here. And I'm probably gonna be getting like an average of $10 in profit for each item that sells. 
So that's just a grand in clothes right there. There's probably gonna be more money in the clothes because I could probably get a lot more than $10 for some of those items. But like I said, we're just doing a safe bet. So, so we're saying $1,000 just in the clothes that still needs to be listed. On top of that, on top of that, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven totes still that are full of inventory. I have this tote that is still full of shoes. It needs to be listed. This stuff that has flags and purses and other toys and bags and helmets and all sorts of stuff right here. This one has whatever this is, some skateboards, some books, some art, some of these cheap looking, um, some of these cheap looking drones are in here. And here we have a bunch of ornaments, a bunch of DVDs, uh, some, some games, some VHS, a bunch of toys. Here we have also a bunch of knickknacks, more games, electronics, video game stuff, whatever this is right here, other stuff. Then there's a polar camera right there, more like bigger toys and whatever else is in here. And same thing with this one, we got, we got toys, we got musical instruments, whatever this Hannah Montana thing is, a bunch of electronics and old stuff like that. So with those totes, I feel like an average of about $100 in inventory per tote. Some might be more, some might be less, but I feel like $100 is a pretty safe bet. So we have $1,000 in potential in clothes. We have 700 in potential and and other inventory I have to list at 1700. So now let me count what already sold. I think it was like only three items. And that what's then what I already listed. And we'll do the math and we'll see what my estimate total is for this whole haul. Okay, so I did all the math, all crunched all the numbers in my head, you know. You know how I do, uh, Mr. Mathematician over here. So, so far we sold three items for $79. You will see them right there, all the items that I sold. And I have right now around $1,500 in listings that I already did. So the listing that I did, plus the ones that are gonna come later, I have about $3,200 in listings. So I spent 200, I should probably have about 3,200 in sales. That's not bad, <laughs> it's definitely not bad. But again, this is just estimated numbers. We will see at the end of the month or into August, whenever I list all this stuff. Um, we will see what the actual number is. This is a different style of video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you didn't, don't worry. We're gonna have more estate sale and yard sale videos coming out in the future. But this is a pretty big bulk buy that I don't often get a chance to do. So when I do, I really wanna share it with you guys. Uh, so yeah guys, like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace out.